In one month, more than half a million visitors have come to the Temple of Solomon, people who have arrived from many different places. We are from Belo Horizonte. Rio de Janeiro, there in Niteroi. Sao Paulo. People of all religions. I am a Catholic. It is beautiful to see this. Even though it is not my religion, we respect the Jewish history. And I made a point of coming to see it. This place that attracts so many people is located in Bras, the central district of Sao Paulo. The area has now become a tourist destination. The main tourist attraction, it is the Temple of Solomon. A little more than a month after the inauguration, the Temple of Solomon, besides being a religious building, has already become one of the main tourist attractions in Sao Paulo. In truth, there are very few places in Brazil that receive as many visitors as the Temple of Solomon does every day. This group came from Piricicaba in the interior of Sao Paulo. Mr. Pedro and Mrs. Marcia who are Catholics, are here for the first time. Mr. Pedro has traveled all over the world and has visited religious temples in many countries. And he wanted to have a close look at the Temple of Solomon. I think the architecture is extraordinary, and this attracted my attention. Here, the history of the Temple of Solomon is told in detail. The pastors who guide the visitors are dressed like the priests in the temple days. What we're teaching here is not religion, so everybody, even people who are not of any religion, come here. They are welcome. Our doors are open for them. At least 400 people a day join a special tour. They are always accompanied by a tour guide. The one place that interests visitors is right here. It is the memorial of the temple. A building supported by 12 columns. Inside is a kind of museum where replicas of the main objects that were in the Temple of Solomon thousands of years ago are displayed. All replicas are gold-coated and each object has meaning. Amongst all the objects that are here in the museum, those which attract the most attention are this gold-coated replica in a reduced size of the Ark of the Covenant. Also, the model of the Tent of the Tabernacles gets a lot of attention. This tent was built to keep the Ark of the Covenant. This model was made on a scale 10 times smaller than the original. But here in the Temple of Solomon, another tent was built, which is the same size as the original tabernacle that existed thousands of years ago. It was rebuilt to the exact measurements and details of the original tabernacle. The size the shape, the colors, the covering. Everything is the same as the tabernacle built almost 3,000 years ago. They say it was the skin of a badger or marine animal which was used as the outer covering to, to be a water resistant and to withstand the heat in the desert. Then there was what is similar to the skin of a ram, uh, dyed red. This was the second covering. The third one was made from goat skin, and the fourth one was, was fine woven, bluish purple linen with crimson wadding, with an embroidery of cherubim. Inside there are replicas, in real size, of objects from the old tabernacle. The replica of the Ark of the Covenant is guarded by cherubims. The tour takes about one hour, it is spectacular. This is something extraordinary. 
There is nothing to compare with this. Carolina is a doctor who came here with her mother, Vera. You, you were a bit emotional. Yes, I was emotional, especially inside there. I relived what was written in the Bible and it touched me deeply. It is as if we were there. It is truly a great experience and everybody should take the opportunity of doing this tour. For some groups, such as these people, this visit has a very special meaning. They are all Jews who live in Sao Paulo, and they came to see with their own eyes a place that has so many references to Israel, their homeland. The story of the Temple of Solomon is directly connected to the history of Israel. The first temple was built in Jerusalem by King Solomon. It was destroyed some time later by the Babylonians. And burned this entire temple! Rebuilt on the same place, the temple was again destroyed, this time by Romans. The reconstruction of a temple, which no longer exists in Israel, leaves Jewish people amazed. It is a realistic replica of the temple in the Bible. It is, it is part of our history. And I think it is spectacular. The stones that are on the facade and the interior of the temple came from the region of Hebron in Israel. I had seen some parts of it on TV, but seeing it live is extremely impressive. The group becomes emotional seeing the temple's majesty, and at the same time, they are amazed with the attention to detail. It is good. It brings peace in Israel and Jerusalem. This is what is important, peace and love. More than 300 people were trained to receive the visitors. Danielle cannot even tell how many photos are taken every single day. She is one of tens of photographers who volunteer to record the visits here. People come, they pose, and we find the best angle to take the photograph and record this moment at the temple. All photos taken during the visits are posted on the official page of the temple on the internet. On this social network, is a record of groups who came from Honduras, Uruguay, Bolivia, Italy, England and China. We have caravans from other countries that have booked to come and visit. So, I believe the temple is drawing the attention of many tourists. This group which is staying at a hotel in the CBD of Sao Paulo came from Mexico just to visit the Temple of Solomon. These 67 people are all in Brazil for the first time. Jose Anastasio is a businessman. He explains that he came with the group because the temple is a great novelty, so much so that it is already being referred to in Mexico as the eighth wonder in the world. The group traveled in two buses to the suburb of Bras. When they arrived and were still outside, they look on amazed. Magnificent. They take many photos to remember this moment. The Mexicans join a tour. They get to know the story of the tabernacle. They are amazed by everything they see. When saying their goodbyes as they leave, they know that they will go back to Mexico with a wonderful experience to share. This is a marvelous thing. Admiration for the temple is also spreading to the virtual world. The Temple of Solomon already has more than half a million followers on the internet. It is already part of the Sao Paulo tourist site among the important places to visit in town. 
the Temple of Solomon. From the pages of the Holy Scriptures of Christianity to Sao Paulo. A landmark in the city, a new postcard that amazes Brazil and the world.